<laughs> Calling Quigley, feeling good. <laughs> so I am here with Colleen Quigley. She is the winner of the women's 3000 meter steeplechase. Colleen, tell us how you're feeling. I'm just so excited that I just did a cool down with like half of the field. My foot feels fine. My hip feels fine. Like, yeah, I got the US standard and like that was great. But like the biggest thing I wanted was to like run away from this race, like not hobble and crawl <laughs> away from the race, uh, which is what I did like last couple times I steepled. I couldn't walk after. Um, so yeah, just like happy about that. <laughs> Can you tell us kind of mental journey, emotional journey from last year, USA's, you know, you, you went out there, you made the final, did, weren't able to compete in the final, the foot yeah. blew up to now being able to have this, like what, what has the last, you know, slightly less than a year been like in that yeah. journey? I mean, last year at USA's, I was like super low afterwards. I felt like I did all the things right. I didn't overtrain. Like I left a situation I felt like was just tearing me down and I was like okay I'm gonna go you know take care of myself not too many too many not do too many miles cross train blah 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 and then I was like and I still got hurt like I felt like I didn't deserve that you know I was like what the hell um and so I was super low and I called up USA Triathlon and I said you know I'm done with track I can't do this anymore I can't deal with the heartbreak anymore I just I, I can't do another US Champs where like I'm either out or injured like what do I got to do to be in triathlon and that took me on this whole journey where I thought I was going to leave track and go do a triathlon. And they were psyched about that. They're like, we'll show you the ropes, like come do this camp, blah, blah, blah. And I met uh, coach Greg Mueller um, and Jeff Moreno. And that like being so low and like almost giving up actually introduced this whole other thing into my life that now like I can't imagine, you know, like I know I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that. And so it seems kind of dramatic and cheesy, but I'm like, thank God I broke my foot last year <laughs> because I now I'm in like the best possible, like I have the best possible team ever. Um, I'm training different than anyone else in the sport. No, no one else lining up at USA is will be training the way that I'm training, which is crazy, but um, I'm having so much fun and I'm healthy. And so, yeah, I'm like, that was horrible. And I definitely hate being injured, um, but I think it actually brought me like the biggest, you know, blessing um that i could have asked for so so i want to know a little bit more about the race but first i do want to know i know that you've been like talking about the biking a lot yeah. and like how like fulfilling it is and also like how freaking like good you are yeah, at it like maybe biking. like somewhat surprisingly to yourself like that you're actually like like not just good like for a track person but like you're yeah. a good biker you're a good cyclist yeah. can you tell us a little bit about that yeah, my coach said that i could probably do some like um bike racing if i want to and my parents were like <laughs> don't do that <laughs> it's like dangerous um but yeah i a uh i just love it like i got out on a bike on the roads for the first time this fall i've been doing like all this like peloton like indoor spinning and i actually liked that uh but then i got a big girl bike and got outside and started doing rides like in like malibu and uh up these like crazy canyons in la and i was like oh shit like this is big time fun like that was nothing and like that running stuff is boring like this is so fun I'd bring snacks I'd be out there for like three four hours I'd like plan out my route ahead of time and then take like videos along the way it's just like a whole different thing than running you can go further and longer and you don't feel like broken the next day you wake up the next day feel fantastic <laughs> like I did a four hour ride and a 30 minute run and an hour swim yesterday and I wake up the next day and I'm like I feel great you know nice. and so that has been yeah super fun and I'm really excited to get back to that more um in the off season but so tonight, obviously very good race. Yeah. You know, you you were you coming here with the intention of getting the US standard? I yeah, mean, I mean, I'm running out of time. So I was kind of <laughs> like, I kind of got to do this. Um, I only had one steeple work, uh, I mean, one hurdle workout um, on Tuesday. It was my, <laughs> my first like workout over hurdles. Uh, and so I came in like knowing I was vastly unprepared um, in one sense, unpre unprepared in another sense. I've been doing this for years. So I'm like, it's just like, you know, remembering kind of how it feels again and just like making sure that my body could handle the impact. Like I was a little nervous about um, what it would feel like after, like if I could get through it, but then after I would be broken again. Um, and so I was like running towards my uh, fiance flew from France. He like surprised me tonight. I didn't know he was coming. 
he was supposed to be going back to LA and he showed up um, right after my warm up. I did my jog and I came back and he was here. And so I like ran over to him afterwards and I was like, look, <laughs> I'm fine. Cause he's been on this journey with me of like the ups and downs of like, I, you know, I did something great and then I broke again, you know? And so I think for both of us, it's just like, yes, I got the standard and like I ran the steeple again, but like, I'm okay. Like my body's okay. And so it's like, that is just like the stability of that is really nice. So there's two more questions. One, um, was it weird? The outer, has it been a while yes. since you've done an outer water pit? I haven't done an outer pit since college. I was like, this is so strange. The weirdest part is not knowing um, your split. Yeah. Like you're just kind of blind. So actually the wave light thing was clutch tonight for that. Just like knowing that that was going to be there. Otherwise I would have been totally, especially out in front, like just running blind. Um, and I actually, I messed it up. I saw the green lights and they told me, Tate said it, Tate, you said, told, said it right. <laughs> but I just raced brain. I saw the green lights and I was like, stay on the lights. And I was like, this is hard. Like, I don't know if I can pull this pace. And then the, I was like, okay, fine. You know what? You just got to run within yourself. Just back off, like run your pace. And then the white lights caught me and I was like, white lights. Oh shit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I, that's what I was like, no wonder I felt hard. I'm not ready for that yet. And so then I was like, okay, stay on the white lights, stay on the white lights. So yeah, I did, I did get out a little too hot and, um, and messed myself up a little in the beginning. But yeah, the wave lights, I don't know who to thank for that, but that was like, Super okay, last question. What did it feel like breaking that tape? Oh, that felt good. I did my first triathlon in um, February, and I got to break the tape there. Uh, anytime you get to do that is just like really special. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I see myself switching sports at the end of 2024. So this is like my second to last season, and like realizing that, like knowing that that's coming, it makes every race feel like a little more special and be like, I have to just like smile as much as I can and enjoy this because it's about to be over. So yeah, I'll always like savor a moment to break the pain. Thank you. Yeah.